Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lee's Creature Features. If it's your first time here and you like the video, please check out my other ones and don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button because it really helps me out. Now for today's video, we're going to be doing some maintenance on the Paladarium and also on the Crested Gecko enclosure. Now these are both my bioactive enclosures. As you can see, I've taken some of the dead plants out already. I'm going to take you in there, we're going to do some of the others, give it a clean down and then we're going to go shopping for some new plants. So let's get to it. Okay, so in here we're going to uh, just replace some of the plants we've taken out already. We're going to take out the remaining of the uh, dead plants and stuff that we've got that are no longer any good. Then we're going to clean all the glass down and we're going to give it a good old spruce up. And just generally give it a little bit of maintenance. You can see where some of the, uh, the background has come away. So I'm going to... I've got some moss that I'm going to put up there and we'll be doing that. And that's it for this tank. And this is the second tank that we're going to be doing. So as you can see, some of the plants have died away across the back. Some of the backgrounds come away, so we're just going to spruce it up, take these dead plants out, and just generally give this one a little bit of an uplift as well. Go get some nice new plants for this one. And hopefully we'll have two fresh looking tanks. <laughs> As you can see, we've got a nice variety of plants from the uh, from the store. It's just going to spruce both these tanks up. Got some nice terrarium moss there as well, just to spruce the backgrounds up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get planting. And the beauty of this, because we foamed the um, the plant pots into the background, all we literally need to do is just take your nice new plant. Unpot it in two seconds. There we go. Unpot it and go ahead and plonk it in. Straight into that plant pot that we already had set up. And there we go. Easy as that look. Already it's looking loads better, taking on loads loads of shape and colour. So it's gonna keep going. And uh, yeah, it's getting there. And there we go. Uh, freshly planted paludarium. It's giving it loads more colour, more variety of plants, more little hiding places for everything. I currently have my white tree frogs in here, which are hiding up in this bit of cork bark that runs across the back here. So yeah, that's number one done. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the setup. On to the second one. Okay, so with this one, there's my little brown animal. Look, I'm just going to start by just taking away all the, the dead bits, pruning all this back, getting rid of all the dead leaf litter that's everywhere. Pull out the uh, the dead plants. Again, all these pots are foamed into the background, so nice and easy. All I've got to do is put the new plant straight in there and just cover up the bits where I've lost the the background and that and the foam's now exposed. So we'll go ahead, we'll take these out. And I'm gonna quickly plant this one up and then uh, I'll show you the finished article. And here we are, here's the finished article. So as you can see, I've planted them all in, covered up the background with some terrarium moss. Here he is having a climb. And just generally spruce it all up a little bit. You know, all this will grow in. But as with the paludarium, uh, bioactive terrariums, that sort of thing, I really don't think that you can overplant them. I think the more variety of plant that, have, that you have in there, and the more variety of colour, the better. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>